Welcome to the Wellness for Women show, where we talk about life, weight loss and everything in between. I'm Faye Caseman, founder of the AAA Way Life and Weight Loss Program, and I'm here to help you put together the pieces of life and weight loss for one last time. This is an episode of the Wellness for Women show, filmed live in the free Facebook group. Hello, 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 and welcome to episode number 55 of the Wellness for Women show. And this week it is eight unexpected benefits of loving yourself unconditionally. It is Valentine's Day coming up after all. And so that's why I wanted to make this week all about love or self-love. So Valentine's Day is just around the corner, um, just as this is being recorded. And for anybody who um, is listening to this months down the line and wondering why is she talking about Valentine's Day when it's October? (laughs) Because this will be showing out on the YouTube probably around that kind of time, I would have thought. So let me know in the chat um, whether you're watching it on YouTube or in the Wellness for Women group. Let me know in the chat, do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Do you celebrate Valentine's with your loved ones or are you a hell no? Or maybe you're a single Pringle like me, which can bring up its own set of emotions and expectations for us um, as as single Pringles. Uh, But whether there is, uh, whatever your situation is, there is nothing more important than showing yourself some love this Valentine's Day. Um, I was really interested this week. I popped out a post on Facebook to see whether people were celebrating Valentine's. Some were celebrating, some not so because they felt that they showed love all year round. Some were just spending it with their kids. One person was getting a tattoo. Um, but there's no mention of self-love and it's so important. So when it comes to loving ourselves unconditionally, though, it's not always easy. You know, self-love is not always easy because it can require stepping out of our comfort zones and putting ourselves first when we often tend to put the needs of others above ourselves, which can lead to us feeling guilty and shameful. We can also be overly critical of ourselves, which can make it difficult to show ourselves compassion and unconditional love at times. Our judge, our inner judges tend to be very strong. It's one of our strongest saboteurs. But there are so many unexpected benefits of loving yourself unconditionally. And today I want to remind you about eight of them and why loving yourself um, unconditionally can really help your well-being. So I, that is what is coming up in today's show. It's going to be uh, a little overview of my journey with self-love. And then I'll dive into the eight glorious benefits of loving yourself unconditionally. And so quick introduction time for those who don't know me. I am Faye Casement and I help women just like you find food and life freedom by putting together the pieces of life and weight loss, just like a jigsaw for weight loss success. So reach out to me on any of my socials if you are interested in more information or check out any of the links in and around the video, the podcast, the the, the group, whatever it is that you're catching me on. And as usual, just let me know what your takeaways are in the Wellness for Women group. So story time, ladies, get comfortable. Um, My journey of self-love has been a rocky one. So when I was younger, I never felt like I fitted in Uh, never really felt like I belonged in any group or setting. Growing up, it felt like an uphill battle, trying to find acceptance and love for myself. The problem was I was trying to find it externally with friends, boyfriends, teachers, looking to parents, etc. I was looking for outside validation all the time. I didn't know any better. It was just something that I fell into. This morphed over the years into being fearful of conflict, having perfectionist tendencies and some people pleasing tendencies and it wasn't until my weight loss journey which for those who don't know it didn't start until my 40s um, that the idea of self-love really actually started to finally take root for me and after years of searching for it outside of myself I realized that the only place to truly find it was actually within Um, My journey was not perfect. There's been plenty of ups and downs along the way, uh, not just in weight loss, but my hormones, various relationships. And of course, we've had COVID-19. But what the journey has showed me was I didn't have to be perfect. I've been able to work on accepting my differences and my flaws through the weight loss process. 
and I've identified things that I can offer to the world that no one else can because I've realized that I am uniquely me just like you are uniquely you and I'm fully embracing this and in doing so embracing me and I want this for all of you too and it all started with mindfulness and life coaching, taking small steps towards loving myself unconditionally by doing things for just for me, showing up daily for my for my, for my life, my weight loss, so making food plans, eating to my physical needs, not my emotional ones, going on walks, listening to music, that you know, music that makes me feel alive and connected, reading books on personal growth and spending time with friends and family and loved ones. You know, all of these things can really, um, really help you to start to understand your own value, your under understanding your own worth. And all these little steps, like I say, helped me to build up my self-esteem, my confidence levels. And I started to really see how worthy and actually how capable I really was. And the more I got involved in this and the more enhanced I got in my self-care practices effectively and engaging in those activities that brought out the best version of myself, the more peace and joy flowed into my life. And even when life was throwing up obstacles at me, instead of punishing myself like I used to for not being perfect or comparing myself, I worked on overcoming these and continue to work on it. Um, but now I've got this inner strength and I talk about it a lot, but it's this inner strength and that keeps me from crumbling into pieces most days. I sometimes have bad days, um, but reminding me, you know, but I, I've got tools in my toolbox now to help me to remind me who I am and the amazing things that I want to do and what I've achieved. So these are the benefits of the, the, what I found in a self-love journey. Um, but let's not dilly-dally. Let's dive in. Let's see what you could find from your own self-love journey. So number one, improved self-esteem. So when you practice self-love, it can improve your self-esteem and help you feel more confident in who you are. Feeling confident in your own boots, you'll show up more for yourself in your life and in your weight loss and for those around you as you shine brighter. And when we learn to love ourselves without judgment or criticism, we become empowered and motivated to make positive changes in our lives that are beneficial not only for us personally, but also those around us and everything that we do. Number two, you get a more positive outlook. So practicing self-love, it can help you look at the world in a more in a po more positive light and start to focus a bit more on the good rather than the bad. And when we practice self-love and compassion, it helps us to become more mindful of our own needs and feelings as we acknowledge our as we learn to acknowledge the fact that we have desires and feelings. And it can become easier for us to recognize when things don't feel quite right. And through this better understanding of our of our own thought patterns and how these thoughts might be influencing our outlook on life, we can then work through those with self-love and compassion techniques, which brightens the outlook. And a positive outlook at the end of the day is essential for living a happier life. It's not that you always have to be happy and it's not that you always are going to have a positive outlook, but you, you can find more happiness and this improved level of self-awareness can lead to us taking more steps that align with our health and well-being goals so it all links together really it's all part of the pieces and the puzzles that go together and self-love can also number three help with improved relationships so practicing self-love can also help improve your interpersonal relationships as it helps you to better understand your own needs and feelings as well as that of other people so when we learn to show ourselves compassion we become more open and accepting of others allowing us to foster deeper bonds and once we understand how to love ourselves more, we can communicate this with others as well. And we can be clearer on our boundaries. And we can also do work around the fact that we have no control over the thoughts and feelings and actions of other people, only ourselves. But in doing this, we become better at adjusting our expectations and our actions so that, again, we can work towards understanding others without judgment. And ultimately, less judgment of others equals less strife. Less strife a happier life so not to be confused though with people pleasing for the sake of it you know boundaries created from self-love and compassion are critical but it can really help sometimes to help you let go of some of the small stuff that sometimes can grind your gears and because often it's only your own gears that are being ground really 
and this also includes our relationship with ourselves as well setting loving boundaries for ourselves for our health and for our well-being number four increased motivation to achieve your goals so when you love yourself it gives you extra motivation to achieve your goals because you start to believe in yourself loving yourself giving giving yourself that power to see beyond your challenges and your obstacles and believing that anything is possible is critical to that more joyful life and ultimately to your health well-being and weight loss process whatever it is that you're working on and it can help to push you forward and stay in motion despite any difficult circumstances and setbacks and as you continuously practice self-love it can give you the strength to persevere work towards achieving your goals with more resilience and determination and passion and additionally self-love helps create that positive environment for personal growth you're opening yourself up to possibility and allowing yourself to take steps that you perhaps might have avoided because of fear or anxiety and with that newfound freedom comes a tremendous potential for success and again more joy in the process because i'm all about finding more joy in the processes number five increased self-care practicing so self-love um, naturally would lead to increased self-care really you know when you love and accept yourself it becomes easier to recognize what you need in order to be healthy to be happy etc and taking care of ourselves is just as as important as taking care of others as it prevents us from being overwhelmed and burning out and self-care you know at the end of the day can come in many forms it can be something as simple as just taking a few minutes a day for meditation or something more involved like setting aside a little time for a walk or doing some thought work through journaling or coaching exercises so i'm a huge advocate of coming at our challenges with love and care and compassion uh, because it's more sustainable in the long run rather than coming at yourself with a big stick. Now, you might be thinking, hmm, isn't self-care and self-love the same thing? Well, no, not quite. There are differences. Self-care is looking after your mind, body and soul, whereas self-love involves developing a more positive attitude towards yourself and acknowledging and accepting your strengths and weaknesses, along with understanding your needs. So they do go hand in hand, ultimately, if you practice increasing your self-care, chances are you'll find self-love. And if you work on your self-love, you, you will find that you put in more self-care. Number six, increased productivity. So practicing self-love can give you the energy and focus to tackle your tasks more productively. How many days have you sat at your desk at work and wished you weren't there? How many days have you knuckled through because you had to? Maybe it was the housework you didn't want to do, but maybe you thought, I've got to do it because you're worried about what other people think or because maybe you think it just should be so. But how does that actually feel? It often feels rubbish. It feels demotivating and you're not going to want to do it. And how is that then going to show up in day to day life? You'll be less productive, feeling less willing and feeling unmotivated. You know, and there's a lot of tough love quotes and mantras out there. You know, you can do hard. Uh, just do it. Go hard or go home. Swallow the frog. Um, yes, while well, you can do hard and it doesn't mean that you shouldn't ever do things that you don't perhaps 100% like or want to do, how much better would it be if you approached it with love? You know, maybe thinking having to be at your desk turns into I get to help clients today. I get to earn money to enjoy my life and provide for my family. I get to do a good job today because etc, etc. And when we love ourselves, we see the value in taking care of our responsibilities just as much as ourselves, and doing so we can find ways to make them feel easier approaching tasks from self-love makes us more willing to then take on those tasks at the end of the day so what could you try how could you reframe something that you currently perhaps are not so keen on doing into something that's more that's more loving that feels more more comforting and more relieving so, for example, an example that I use is that I have a to-do list. I don't have a to-do list. I have a to-do list <laughs> um, because the intention behind it is, is that I want to try and plan um, 
my activities with love and balance so it feels more empowering when I do it and I call it a ta-da list because then it feels more celebratory when I do something I tick something off my ta-da list and it ultimately just makes me smile so that's why I use a ta-da list but there is lots and lots of different techniques that we could tap into so maybe instead of swallowing that frog and doing the hard thing you say uh, you have to do maybe you say to yourself instead I know that if I do this, I will feel amazing after or I'm doing this as an act of self-love because when I do this, when I show up in this way, this is the positive result that it brings me. And so that, again, means that you're more likely to want to go into that, approaching your task with more energy and focus, knowing that you're going into it to take care of yourself rather than because you feel you have to. So it's always as well when you're looking at productivity sometimes and especially when it comes into self-love is also about sometimes to be more productive you actually have to slow down and so I'm not always great at this I've got to say I'm not always the best at this but I'm working on it um but self-love is also appreciating that need for balance the need to slow yourself down sometime to take stock to take time out so that you can then look to come back with more with more pep in your step at the end of the day. Number seven, it can lower stress levels. So when you love yourself, it can reduce your stress levels and make it easier for you to handle things that come your way. Stress at the end of the day is a physical and emotional response to a perceived threat. And that threat can be a physical threat. It could be an emotional threat. Um, and sometimes our brains don't know, know the difference. And ultimately, your body then gets prepared for flight or flight. And you sets off hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. And we get this stress response. And that can be, it can be sometimes helpful if we need to be alert and focused. But when we're constantly activated due to prolonged periods of stress it's really not healthy or helpful to us in the long run and again linking back into what I was just saying a moment ago you know and looking at productivity and tasks and stress if you are going into activities not wanting to do it that is going to increase your stress response because you've effectively by having um, thoughts about whatever given situation it is that are perhaps not so loving and compassionate and kind and pos more positive in nature, it is likely to trigger the stress response. But when we love ourselves and we create this sense of self-worth and acceptance of ourselves, of the situation, of others, it will help to reduce your stress levels and be um, help you to better handle things that come your way. And so when we practice that unconditional self-love, we no longer need to apply judgment or expectations on ourselves, which ultimately can just become an emotional burden. And if you really, really want to grab some stress busting and awesome ways to show yourself some self-love today, check the link in the description for me. Um, I've got a new resource out, 10 self-love exercises that you can try today. So the link is in um, the description wherever you are watching this. So go grab the 10 self-love exercises for you to try. Give them a try, give me a shout, let me know how you get on with them. And number eight, happier life. So finally, loving yourself unconditionally, it can lead to a happier life. And my favourite way of saying it is more joy, hence why it's about ditching the diet and finding more joy for me. And um, when we love ourselves, it can improve our overall well-being and lead to that happier life. And because when we show ourselves that unconditional love, kindness and compassion, it allows us to be more accepting of our flaws and imperfections. And we can then create this environment around ourselves where we can work on worrying less, stressing less, feeling less anxious and feeling less overwhelmed. And who doesn't want that, right? And furthermore, when we love ourselves unconditionally, it allows us to find the joy in the smallest things. You know, whether it be spending time with family and friends, hobbies. I took a walk out in the in the crisp, wintry, sunny air today and it was blissful. It was absolutely blissful just to spend a mindful moment out having a walk before then coming in and finishing off this show. And we can learn to appreciate life more than for what it is, enjoying the little moments rather than focusing on our shortcomings or the more difficult moments that life can sometimes sometimes bring. And we can find more joy. So roundup time. 
Valentine's Day is the perfect opportunity to practice self-love and to remind ourselves of all the amazing benefits that come with it, whether it be reducing stress levels, improving our overall well-being, leading us down to the path of more joy in life. Unconditional self-love can truly transform how we believe about ourselves and how and we and help us to create an environment where we are more accepting of our flaws, our imperfections, because we all have them. So make make some time, celebrate yourself. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. Celebrate yourself every day by taking some time out for reflection and appreciation and focusing on loving yourself unconditionally instead of worrying or stressing over things that make you feel overwhelmed. And with all of that, you know, just channeling that acceptance and kindness and self-compassion, just start today. Just start where you're at and build on it gradually bit by bit. So what's next? Uh, that is it, folks, for the week. So don't forget to pop into the Wellness for Women group regularly as a community. We can learn and support each other, learn from each other and support each other and discuss what comes up. And if you want to know how you can take your work on self-love, kindness, weight loss, just generally got something coming up in life, just shoot me a DM and we'll have a chat. Okay, I am going to love you and leave you for this week. Until next week, bye for now. Thanks for listening. And don't forget, if you want to boost your life and weight loss the AAA way, check out the relevant links for today's show in the description. Speak soon.